Right, I'm here. It's another video, guys. This one is bush, camp, craft, shoot, cook, and maybe a little bit of fishing as well. So, I've brought my little survival fishing rod. Just in case we fancy a dabble, you know what I'm saying, kids? Yep. So, it's Friday. Might be here for till Monday. See how it goes. Yeah, so I'm going to get my gear set up and uh, we'll probably have a little bit of banter along the way. Bop Tommer. New rucksack. We'll have a look at that in a bit. A quick look. I've transferred everything over to a new, uh, well, rucksack, day sack, we'll get out bag, survival bag, what you want to call it, but it is. Uh, British Army 40 litre Virtus rucksack, day sack, yeah, MTP, and I've just mollied a load of pouches on it. Yeah, again, it's 10 litres, uh, more than the other one, so I can get my big fat frying pan in for some top scoff. Happy days. Good bit of kit. And that's another reason I got it. It's much better for me old back. It's getting a bit knackered now after all these years. Right, bashes up, beds out, we'll have a bit of a brew, you know it makes sense. Have a bit of a brew, sit down, contemplate what we're going to do. Apart from enjoy myself and have a load of banter. That'll wake me up. Plop me homemade extra comfy seat. So if you can see it, it's camoed up in it. Get my fragile bottom on there. Oh it's chill o'clock. I'm going to burn my flaps now, aren't I? Yeah. Stay there for a while. 
I'll save it out, Moss. Living a dream. There's pigeons everywhere, woodies. When I got up here earlier, rabbits all over the place because I said a little like arses, little white arses going like mad, run straight back down to Butters. And well, they're only juveniles, only young ones. So I'll have me brew, done the head cam, because I've been busy over there. I don't go to the wood pigeons anymore. They come to me. You know what I'm saying? Cheese and biscuits. Firing them. Bit of venison. Not firing that, no way. I want to see if we can get some dinner. A few woodies kicking about. Clock me now. Ah, oh, they're off. Yeah, they weren't hanging about. Right, so no joy there. Yeah, he triggered me, they were off. Oh, look. Tripod. We have got Rabbit Central here. I can sit on my chair and wait. Have a go at that. They were out yesterday because I was up here having a bit of a turn of an ooch. Right. Sit here for half an hour, see if any of them come out. Right, there's not much doing here. That bank in there, it's just full of borrows. I was up yesterday and there was a few young uns kicking about. What they do, they come out of the border, straight up the bank in and into the fields, obviously to feed, but it doesn't look like the parents come out during the day, just the young uns. So, might come back later on. So, I'd half an hour here. Yeah, it's quiet, it's not coming out. Apart from coots and ducks. I'll go for a walkabout. But I have a cunning plan, my lord, for later on. Right. This is the dead stuff bag. When it's dead, it gets stuffed in here. But a fortunate piece of luck. It's just the right size. For me comfy bum seat. Right, let's go for a mince about. 
So yeah, there's a lot of rabbits kicking about here, so they might be out later. Some borders there. All along this bank. Plenty of nettles. Some daffodil does. Some daffodil don'ts. Here we have it. Rabbit Central. They'll be all out around here later on. Yeah, they come out of these warrens straight up the bank and out into the fields to feed. But usually down on the path here. After, after dark. Not many squirrels around here now. I don't know why. Oh yeah, I've shot them all. Mother Mallard with three ducklings. There was seven. Now there's three. And there's no pike in here. So four have gone along the way somewhere. There's nine. That's two families, that. Oh, look. Racing for a fly on the surface. <coughs> All right. Very quiet. We'll have another go later. We'll have a go here later. Put some seed down. There was actually 12 kilos there two days ago. We'll find out what's been munching it. Trail cam there, and there's the hide. There, I know you can't see it, that's the point. <laughs> All the birdies are coming in, there's a little robin red breast. Come for his dinner. So we'll have a go in the hide. It's been renovated. <laughs> the last light, see if that turns up. Cheers Nige. Cheers Cole. Alright. So we've got a nice little cheeky wood stove for tonight. Sit round when the temperature drops. Warm the cockles and that. Courtesy of six umps. Well, night three umps, coal three umps. When they get together, it's the brothers six umps, isn't it? Yeah. Cheers, chaps. He's going to lose his virginity tonight, this. Happy days. You never know, might even be able to cook on it. Bop Tommy. I think I better collect some wood. I'm going to have a bit of a 
wood stove fire tonight and then it'll be time for dinner soon Grandad nap do some shooting Right, I think I'll uh, get the wood stove going. Yeah, it's maiden voyage, let's say. And I've uh, I've redesigned my fire kit. Cracking little pouch this. Tenor from Decathlon. Was it so long, knack? Yeah. It's like one of them at least EDC pouches and what have you. But I've waxed it to waterproof it or semi waterproof it and that's the fire kit what should we start with today in the pouch I think it's going to be, because we've got to put it inside there, it's going to have to be good old, no that's fat wood, it's going to have to be cotton wool petroleum jelly in a snooze tub, cracking little tubs then, they have me snooze in, yeah stored all sorts of stuff in that and what I found is a bit of rubbish on the floor so I'm going to use that to start my fire and put that in there so a bit of sizing up innit from all the scrotum sacks and I can place it into the fire without burning my trotters that might be a bit too much that, there we go Try one of my new homemade ferrule rod with a bit of willow on it. Obviously, done that myself. So, let's see how well this works. Cheers Nigel, cheers Colt. It's looking good. So I said I filled the bottom of it with a bit of wood and then started the fire on top of it. Ooh. 
looking good. I reckon that'll cook a dinner, not half. Now we're soaking. Yeah, put it up on bricks. Two reasons. One, to let the air get in underneath and obviously two, not to burn the ground as much as it would do if it was on the deck. It's still going to drop through a few ashes light, but yeah. Right, get some scoff on the go. We're going to have venison fillet, own bargains potatoes, and garnished with some nettles. But I need some nettles. I'll have to get me, uh, I'll have to get me scrounging pouch out, and preferably nettles that I haven't already pissed on. Right, another little bag, let's put goodies in, probably have a look at that tomorrow or something. Yeah, I've done it, what's in it, and on the back hanging off the molly straps. Here's my scrounging pouch. Cool, gonna get some proper gloves on and all. Do some scroungy. Yeah, these flappy screw pockets. Great for sticking your gloves in. I know I haven't weed on these. Jackpot. Do I know it's got bird shit on it? Wanna take the tops off? My spices, my garnish with the potatoes, and I've got a cup of tea as well. Pumpkin out some meat, that. Set me fleece off. Oh, 
smell good, them nettles. I'm not sipping it up because it's hot. Yeah, we'll just give them nettles. Quick stir. Oh, that nice cup of green tea. Whoa, don't waste it. Get back in the pot. And then I'll save the nettles for me garnish. Unbargaining spuds and nettles. Scoff time. I do like me scoff me culinary delights. <laughs> so we've got spice pouch. Spice pouch. That's actually a British Army Osprey LMG 100 pound pouch that. Keep my spices in there. Scoff bag. Enough there for four days. Where's the sun? I've got some. It's not fillet, it's hind leg, shizer, never mind, still nice. Yep. Sheffield venison. <sighs> and I've got my nettles, so I'm gonna get my spuds out. Get me uh, get me venison in. Fry that nice and slow. In with the spuds, a few spices, and some chopped nettles. It'll be top bomber, he said. Didn't he? Yeah. a bit warm here now. Just a ticket now, isn't it? Get into one's spice pouch. Bit of the gunk out. We flambe it. That didn't work, did it? Whoa, there we go. 
Slime pan's on fire. Bit of fluff in that. Looks like spinach, doesn't it? Oh, it's got bomber. I'm gonna save the juice for the brew. We done. Don't want to put a plastic plate on the side, do we? Oh, we do. He's getting up boiled in a minute. There we have a top bit of scuff. Oh, presentation. Grab right in the middle, aren't you? Oh, there we go. Spuds, on bargains, venison, nettles, and a bit of seasoning. And a bit of fat. Oh, potatoes and nettles, that's quite nice. Mm. In fact, that's double voluptuous. Mm. That knock it, lads. There. Uh, sat out there cooking. Certainly beats sat at home. Like that on the couch shoving your face full of pizza. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Tidy little kick with them nettles. 
Hmm. So I'll have my scoff and then we'll do some after dark wildlife murdering. Pigeons. Have a swift half hour on the rabbits. Last light. I'm not going to have a go in the hide. Not happening here, it's getting a bit too dark. Can't see now. Especially without me driving spectacles on. Right I'm in the eye. It's changed a little bit since last time you saw it, isn't it? So what the name of this game is, I've got monocular here, which is infrared, which you've probably seen before. That's a battery. And I spot them with that. And then up with the rifle in the general direction. Eye down the scope. Hit the red light, get the crosshairs on, the lights will light up, and then basically put a ventilation hole in the reds before they realise what's going on. In theory, that's what we're going to do. So, I'll just get my distance and all that, get it all set up, because I'm just going to whack the light on, boom, give them the good news. That's if they don't leg it. They might sit up, look at me, give me a chance to get a shot off, or they might just peg it, and then we ain't getting out. We're having on bargains potatoes again. Piss flavoured nettles. Turn the light out for this. Yeah, there's a light. Cushy. Night, night, sleep tight. That's the chair, not my bum hole. There's a load of eyes out there, but it's just mice. No rabbits yet. We'll have to sit and wait. On the squeaky chair. All light up like little beacons. Then we'll put a pellet in it. There's a rabbit out to the bank here to the left. Yards away. So I put a kettle on, I think. Oh, 
had nearly an hour and a half. Nout. Fire on in a That's the ticket. Right, it's 11 o'clock, been here two hours. Go get my head down. Finish me roof. Oh, bed time. No rabbits. But I'm sure the trail cam will tell us what time they came out. So it's gone 11 o'clock now. And this old man needs some beauty sleep. Oh, I've had loads over the years, can't you tell? Oh. Right. Oh. Empty my pockets. I'm getting in the Arctic dust back tonight. Oh, nice little bit of comfort. Oh. Everything sticks to this jacket. Oh. 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 Light's gone out. Night night, sleep site. Hope the bed bugs do not bite. If they do, do a poop, put it in a corner stew. Into the ambulance, ring, ring, ring. Fish tiles, elephant in Peking. Busy, busy, bee. Diddle, diddle, diddle. That is an accountant just like me. Night, night. God bless. Set the lights out. It's morning time. Shit night's sleep. Getting too old for this crap. I'm having a brew. I'll have to use the 750ml pot. I forgot my nettle tea and my nettles. Never mind, that'll have brewed well, won't it? I'll warm that up later. A little bit of filtering. Nom nom nom. I'm having a level 7. Ain't gonna beat around the bush this morning. Yeah, ain't gonna fucking sugarcoat it, lads. Alright, level 7. That's 5 plus 2 fingers. Well, 4 thumb and 2 other fingers on the other hand. 7. Filter coffee kit. You've seen it before. If you've watched any other videos, a bit of paracord and some Chinese drawstring bag closing device, and some muslin cloth from home bargains. That's coffee. That I have not wiped my pooper on it yet.
There we go. Let's have half a pot. Ammo pouches. That's me. Beverage pouch. Not quite boiled yet. I'll get that boiled. And we can have our morning wake up call. Now we're talking guys, it's girls, homo sapiens. Pigeons are chirping. Let's go have half hour. Dance of the pigeons. There's a few about. See if we can get one. Very quiet. Go up. He's sat on the surface there, just bolted. Spooked him. Let's have an hour in here. 
put the scope cam on just in case something turns up right, sit and wait, give it an hour maybe two if I'm feeling generous if we're going to get out it'll be a woody if anything Alright, so wait. That was a dunnock. Blue tit. You get a pass, Mr. J. You get a pass. I'm not after you. Pigeons are the great menace. The grey menace has annihilated that feeder, ripped all the wire off, and pinched all the nuts. I keep repairing it, but he come back. Not many of them, maybe just one or two, but he seems to come back when I'm not here. And he's off. Lunch time. There's Dad. He keeps dicks while they do the troughing. And every now and then, he'll have a quick munch. Lights out. He's not getting up. Lights out. He's not getting up. <laughs> Two jackdaws, but they're very clever. Gone. <laughs> <laughs> and they went while I was talking to you. Oh, there he 
you go. Get out of here. Set popping up above the vegetation, so there's one over there. He's hiding. He'll be out in a minute. Flew off. Still hiding. Come on out. Bastard. Open the tray. He'll be down again in a minute, I reckon. There he is. But I can't get him. Not through them branches anyway. Wait till he comes down. Emptied that in two days. Right. That's it, a couple of hours. That pigeon was just sat in a tree behind all them branches. For about another half an hour then flew off, didn't come back down again. Right. Whoa. I feel a grandad nap coming on. Grandad nap. Let's go pick that pigeon up.
What's going on there? It's in a get that the wrecked it. Let's get squirrels up. Destructive little bastards. I've had a go at that one as well. Right, there's the uh, the trail cam. So we'll see what times the rabbits come out last night. I put a load of cat food down there and some chorizo and of course it's all gone. So I'm going to put some more down. We'll find out what took it anyway because of course the camera will pick that up or it should have done anyway. I'll put some more down. Rats, badgers, foxes, you never know, the rabbits might even be eating it. Right, let's see what munchies on the cat food. Duck and lamb. Oh, mixed selection. No artificial colours, flavours or preservatives. Oh my god. And some more. Oh, it's it time for a quick snack. Cheese and garlic flavoured stale bread. So fruit and nut. Mini tortillas. And it's in a mackerel. Top bomber scoffed that in it. A nice lunge. I've uh, 
I've been vacuum sealing peanuts fruit of my own choice by the bags and mix my own peanuts, mix my own fruit and I've been doing that with the cheese as well then you don't need to bring all the freezer blocks there and thermal bags and shit that'll last a lot longer in a vacuum sealed bag than it will in a freezer bag or a cool bag or whatever so I've started doing that so, um, again I've been putting meat in them yeah. and now some other goodies, even coffee for the dried lentils, all sorts in them but at first I'm having a couple of mackerel wraps you know it makes sense Leave that tin out, it'll be lit clean in the morning and pick it up, throw it away. Not round here though, because they'll all be scuttling about, won't they? Because they're little scuttlers. Snooze out. <sighs> Food in. Hmm. What a lovely day. What a lovely view. Get quiet. We'll shoot there. I'll have some cheese and oh. <laughs> Mackerel banjos. <laughs> oh, it's all over me pouch, me knife, but it's all over me chair, it's all over me kecks. Cool. It's been a mackerel explosion. Never mind. Cheese and biscuits. <laughs> Didn't the vacuum sealer broke that one? Right. Let's hope none of my teeth fall out. Can't normally taste the garlic in them. Italian bits of bread thingy, French bread, I don't know what it is anyway, I think it's Italian. Mm. Well I can taste the garlic in it now, I've been out here a few days. A couple of days. Mm. Oh an extra mature cheddar. Bop Tomma. That was sliced. Like that. All I need now is a cucumber sandwich and a cup of ooh, Yorkshire gold. Feel like a little old lady. Oh. That uh, that cheese was made by a company called Blend. Yeah. A nice little, like a nice little bit of blend cheddar, you? Oh, nice little bit of blend cheddar. Mmm, mmm, balan cheddar. Mmm, nice. Mmm, smells like blend cheddar. Probably is blend cheddar. Ooh. So. <coughs> Bit of walnut. Mm. 
the chocolate peanut. Not at me pooper. Mmm. Oh. Brazil nut. No almonds in here because I'm going make all my teeth fall out. Mmm. Oh. Bit of dried mango. All from my bargains. Oh, cashew nut. Mm. Oh, chocolate raisins. Mm. Bit of crystallised ginger. Make my breath smell nice. Mm. I think that's it in that one. No almonds. Too hard for my. Penelope Cave. Mmm. Vacuum packed. Nice little selection. Bung them to one side. Go fishing. Go camping. Go shooting. Go tossing about in the woods. Chuck a couple in your bag there. Pop Tomma. Mmm. Sticky fingers now. That's me eating fruit and nut face. It is. Bogey 10 o'clock. Right, just have this scrounging pouch. Filled it up. I spied myself a rotten silver birch log. Over there. So I'll just tidy this lot up for the culinary delights tonight. I have a plan, my lord, a cunning plan. I ain't cutting that with a barco lap lander. I know what he's doing. This is time for dinner. It's ten past eighteen. And I've got a Swedish fire torch. Pat has kindly given me a piece of his sycamore. And that was the chainsaw you heard earlier. So as I say, I got some birch bark, I'm going to stuff that in there, light a little fire, I'm going to cook my dinner on that when it gets going, hopefully it's dried out, it's been it's been cut for about 12 months so it should be pretty dry now, and uh, that's our little log fire, and that is going to cut our dinner, tonight we're having pigeon Chinese, so we're going to stuff these cracks, with some birch bark, if I can get it in. Oh, a bit of a blockage there, that's what it is. Got a bit of a blockage going on. There we go. There's that sorted. We'll get this stuffed in here. It might take a bit of time. Down there. There we are. 
Again, I've just put it up on a couple of bricks there. Three bricks. It is sand. So we're not going to burn into anything. It's sand here because it's an old sand quarry. So it's not going to go down into, uh, into the earth. And a load of smoke start popping up over there. I've seen that before. Right, so I'm going to light this, again with Old Faithful, because it burns for ages. I mean, with a chance of getting a fire going, aren't I, and a big log. Let's take a big chunk. There we go. Got a bit of kindling ready. Well stuffed with birch bark again. This is sycamore, so I say in between media a medium wood, not soft, not hard. See how long this burns? It'll certainly give me time to cook my dinner on it because I can get it going while this is establishing itself. I'll get my dinner prepared. Oh, I was never getting any good at Kaplunk or Buckaroo. Well, that's getting going. Pigeon time. Don't want a plastic bag to put feathers in. I'll have to stick it in my scrounging pouch. Scrounging pouch don't like standing up. Ten pigeons have a nice pillar. There we go, two nice pigeon breasts for the use of. <laughs> Getting a bit warm here now.
bit of fluff. Come here. There we go. A nice pigeon breast. Strips of the bone. Set the other one off now, me thinks. Gotta keep an eye on our fire and all, aren't we? Right, I've just took second breast off that pellet's hit the bone on it that's what's left of a 177 that was a hollow point actually H&M Barracuda Made short work of him. It's a fox's meal that tonight. Quick blow job, we're back up and running. It's been snowing. Right, we're having a Chinese. We're having freshly cut veg, vacuum sealed, bit of spices, garlic, onion, spring onion, red peppers, chilli, mange to, green peppers, and that's it. And I've got one or two of these, cheeky 29p, a black bean sauce, or an oyster and spring onion. I'll put it in, put one in. If it's not enough, I'll bung the other in. Aldi and own bargains. Happy days, I do like my own bargains. Right. Let's chop this pedge. Spice pouch. Got some of the world's hottest chili powder in there, but I ain't playing with that today. Oh, did it drop a bit? No, I never. Bit of spice pigeon. Happy no, days. You stay there, otherwise I'll kick it over. Because that's what I do. Now we'll get this cranked up. I think I'll get the rice done first. Now we're boiling. Oh, every drop's a lump. Fucking hell. 
Look at the herbs on that now, man. They're proper herbs. They're woodland herbs. More commonly known as shit. Off the floor. Get in. Yeah, I'm having both in. Oh, they're not good for your hands. Need a modern knife for that. We'll give that rice a quick warm and we're in business. Bill Cosby's. No, it's not. Oh, get in there. Oh, there we have it. A nice little stir fry. There's enough for two there, but I'm going to trough the lot myself because I'm a big fat greedy pig. Let's have a taste. Mmm. Very nice, mate. That is the much nuts. Bit of pidge, bit of pidge, a bit of mangy twat, a bit of grunion, a bit of chilli, bit of rice. Oh. Bop Tomma, checking like a shitting dog, I'm eating that for a drop it all. A lot of onion in this, we'll have the trumps later. Mm. Do that for a video. The meal will be Brussels sprouts, onions and baked beans mixed in a pot. We'll have that about 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Then about 10 o'clock it'll be hilarious footage. Mm. And I'll take a, I'll take a box of comfies off to bed with me. Nothing cares. Mm. Oh. Can't knock that, there's enough there for two. I'll be surprised if I trough all that. That's it. Temperature's dropping a little bit now, the sun's gone down. Whew. I didn't eat all that scoff. Yeah. The Broxter's over there fishing, so I went on a delivery service and dropped it off 
<laughs> Half each. Might as well get the kettle on. Bit hot that. That'll do a copy. Right, still going. It's nine o'clock. I'm not going to bother going after bunnies tonight. I've got me to sit round the fire and enjoy myself head on and have a nice strong coffee. You know, to keep me awake all night like I was last night. Oh, God, now that's a flat burner. Just wait a minute. Oh, stars he just gone past. Must be somebody in Morrison's without a mask on. Bit of a chill round the old log burner. Kettle's on. Headlight's not, so I'm not shining it in your fizzogs. Oh, it's lovely and warm. Half past ten, I'll have a brew. Sit up as long as I can. As soon as I lie down in there, old man's body starts to ache, and I mean ache. I'm not talking, oh, I'm talking, oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, that type of ache. Yeah, I don't know. Half of an old brew in there. Oh, and some smeg. Oh, my brew just got smegged. Ah, well. Skull, Tommy Fan. Oh, it's that time again. Oh, time for some gonk. Oh, I like a little bit of gonk. Oh, I'm a gonk monster. Oh. See in the morning. I freeze my little titties off. <sighs> Morning. I'm having a brew. Shut up your nose you get. And then slow pack up I think. I was gonna stay on the night. But I'm nodding off because I've just had a phone call. Somebody's got a lot of rats and he asked me if I could come down and dispatch a few. I said, yeah, I'll be around in a few hours. So I'm going to have my brew, slow pack up, pop smoke, bug out. That's still smouldering over there, look. Bit of wind's got to it now. Bit of wind's got to it. It's reignited. That's been smouldering all night. Super duper. Kettle's boiled, right. 
I want to utilise that. As soon as it's a hot embers, I'm going to put my breakfast on it. Well, I was. There we go. Oh. Got a couple of vacuum packs. Polish sausages. Might as well make use of this fire and embers. Mm. There we go. Grill a few sausages, a couple of sausages in a wrap, bit of ketchup because that is hot. Right, brew time. That's sizzling away nicely. Oh, yes. Oh yes. Ooh. Tasty. <sighs> Smoky too. Very yeah, nice. Little Polish sausages. I can't remember what they were called because they're in a couple of words that are completely unpronounceable to me. Mm. Fat ski sausage ski. Mm. Oh, they're nice then. They remind me a little bit of Swedish hot dogs, sausages. Not the mechanically recovered meat shite we get here. Full of chemicals. Mm. Yeah. And hydraulically compressed crap. That'll be the same, but it's tastier. Mm. Yeah. Have I slopped? Another one. That has just split open literally five seconds ago. Literally two minutes after I'd cooked them sausages. Kurba. Right, that's it. Another day, another dollar. Two nights out in the woods, three days. Shooting off. Go and shoot some rats. See you next time. Top bomber. Cat food's gone, every last bit. So, what's been eating that? Rats, ducks, rabbits, badgers, foxes. 
find out, won't we? Take that home. have a look yep it looks like it's Mr Badger who is responsible he's the culprit for troughing the cat food Rockstar young man do you want to uh, taste my blend cheddar no thank you <laughs> are you sure I'm not a cheddar type of guy you don't <laughs> <laughs> oh you sexual Tyrannosaurus Rex <laughs> you sure you don't want to lick me to cheddar? Positive, yeah. absolutely fucking All right, positive. Mate. See you next time. <laughs> Top bomber. See you later, <laughs> mate. I'm not sipping it up because it's hot. I might give it. <laughs> Ooh, Balan cheddar. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> <laughs>